Sarah Everard as PC Wayne Cousins carried out a fake arrest. The start of the ordeal in which she'd lose her life. Today, a judge decided he'll spend the rest of his in jail. On the CCTV moments later, he's in the driver's seat with his victim behind. A policeman, now a prisoner, described as warped and brutal as a whole life term was handed down. His former boss at the Met Police acknowledged that trust had been breached in the most serious way possible. Sarah's kidnap, rape and murder was one of the most dreadful events in the 190 year history of the Metropolitan Police Service. This hearing has revealed the full brutality of this man's crimes against Sarah. I am absolutely horrified that this man used his position of trust to deceive and coerce Sarah. I am so sorry. How can women ever trust the police, Commissioner? Ms Everard's family today said, we are very pleased that Wayne Cousins has received a full life sentence and will spend the rest of his life in jail. Nothing can make things better, nothing can bring Sarah back, but knowing he will be imprisoned forever brings some relief. Wayne Cousins held a position of trust as a police officer and we are outraged and sickened that he abused this trust in order to lure Sarah to her death. The world is a safer place with him imprisoned. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. This is Cousins being questioned by his then colleagues days after he buried Miss Everard's body. To this day, he claims he was lent on by a criminal gang to kidnap women for them. Cousins was known as the rapist by other officers during his career. A horrifying detail today confirmed by the Chief Inspector of Constabulary. Did the Met Police miss the clues? The Home Secretary today stopped short of calling for Commissioner Dick to resign. I say this not just as Home Secretary, but I say this as a woman. All of us want to feel safe and be safe. Um, that is absolutely a right that we have, and with that, of course, um, the police need to engage in the right way, and they'll be held to account um, going forward. Her killing at the hands of an officer was today described as exceptional and rare. But Sarah Everard could have been any woman on any street, simply walking home. And Julian, this is the most severe punishment available to a judge, isn't it? Yes, Claudia Eliza, he joins around 60 people in England and Wales who've been given whole life terms, the likes of Rose West, uh, the man who murdered the MP, Joe Cox. Even though uh, he pleaded guilty, which would normally reduce a sentence slightly, the judge stressed that this was as serious as a terrorist atrocity, this unprecedented situation where a police officer has used their powers to uh, kidnap, rape and murder someone. Cousins shook throughout most of today's hearing. Mr. and Mr. Sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Everard uh, held hands and briefly smiled at each other uh, when that uh, sentence was handed down. They know now that the man who killed their daughter will almost certainly never be considered for release. Okay, Julian from the Old Bailey. Thank you.